A quick video of how I installed cementaceous plank siding in this new room addition, so stick around. To begin, I cut corner trim boards to length by scoring with a razor knife and snapping. I immediately primed the cut ends of the hardy boards as instructed by the manufacturer. Now the goal here was to build corners using 1x4 cementaceous boards before attaching them to the walls. I used a 2x4 piece of lumber as a temporary block to help create the corner. I applied construction adhesive to the entire length of the edge of the upright board and then carefully lined up the two edges of the boards to create the corner. Once in place, I carefully added a few screws along the length of the corner to secure it in place. Now you have to be careful with screws near the edge of hardy panel and it's a good practice to pre-drill holes first. Then I set the assembled corner in place in the orientation I desired and secured it to the wall using trim head screws. I pre-drilled these holes here as well and added screws on both sides of the corner. Before attaching the inside corner trim piece, I applied a generous bead of sealant at the corner seam to prevent water intrusion. I then placed the trim in position and mounted it with several trim head screws. Now I was ready to install the first lap board, but before I could do that, I had to create a bump out. To do this, I glued pre-primed rip pieces of hardy plank to the underside of the lap board. The rip pieces were roughly an inch and a quarter wide and glued within two inches of the bottom of the lap board. I positioned this board in place so it overlapped the new room concrete floor, but yet several inches above the old concrete porch pad. I checked for level and screwed it into position, placing fasteners about an inch and a quarter from the top of the board. I then cut my next piece of plank using a razor, scoring both sides, and snapping. This board was placed so it overlapped the first board by about two inches, which was enough to cover the screw heads in the first board. I cut the length slightly shorter than the full distance of the wall to leave a small gap between the lap board and the trim board pieces for expansion considerations. I continue to cut planks to length, making sure to prime every cut end before installing. For extra protection, I back cock joints prior to mounting the siding boards. Once in place, I secured the panels with hardy backer type screws, placing the screws in the proper location about an inch and a quarter below the top edge. I would measure up from the installed plank to mark a level line to locate the top edge of my next siding piece. Around window openings, I had to carefully cut voids for the planks to properly fit. When I reached the top of the wall, I placed a narrow ripped siding strip to cover screw heads and attached it using trim nails. For the next wall, I started by installing the remaining corner using trim head screws like before. Then I installed the sliding door window trim, overlapping the door frame slightly. I made sure it was level and attached it with the trim head screws. Then I repeated the process I performed on the first wall. I made a bump out on the first section of siding and installed it in line with the first board on the first wall, placing screws one and a quarter inch from the top edge of the board. I continue to add siding panels up the wall in this fashion, making sure to prime all cut ends before installation. The third wall was the same procedure. I started by attaching the wall trim board. Then I set the first plank panel with the bump outs attached underneath. When I got to the electrical box, I had to cut out spaces in two planks. The last full plank needed three openings cut into it to accommodate the windows. From there, it was just a matter of cutting smaller planks to size and installing them the rest of the way up the wall. After completing the installation, I painted the new siding with a quality primer suitable for cementaceous surfaces and then applied a couple of coats of high quality exterior paint. 
This is the completed exterior for the new room addition that was created from an existing patio space. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if it was helpful, why not subscribe? Please share your thoughts or questions in the comments below, and make sure to watch my other videos in this series on how I converted this porch into a living space addition. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe Kistel.